Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We're here on day two of the 2024 Hot Rod Drag Week. I'm joined by Steve Spies. And between us here is his tur twin turbo, 565 cubic inch John Kazi engine. And it's our Engine of the Week. Engine Builders Engine of the Week is sponsored by Pengrade One and Elring Goss Original. Steve, great to meet you. Uh, I know it's been a busy day too here, and uh, you know you just got done making a pass, and you're getting the car ready to get on the street. So we appreciate a couple minutes of your time to tell us about your car and and the uh, Kazi engine here. So if you would give us a little history about the car itself, you know, how long have you had it and what's it taken to get to the point it is right now? The car is, a, uh, I bought it for my son when he was turned 16 in 1988. And uh, he took it, he's going through school with that 396, three and a quarter horse, and he was just idling, going to school, allegedly, of course, I don't know. Um, and he dropped the valve in it, ruined the engine. And uh, one of his friends, his dad's a big gearhead. We, talked us into getting an LS6 454 crate motor to put in it. Next thing you know, we're going to the drag strip with it. So it went to the drag strip. It actually went here to a Super Chevy with him driving it in 1990, maybe. Okay. You know, um, After that, he ran into out drug and alcohol problems, and uh, um, he wanted to sell the car for money. And I said, well, if you're going to sell the car, I'm going to buy it. So it sat in my shed for years. I never, I, I, I had it all built up for an outlaw class and everything else and just never used it, you know, back halved it. Yeah. And then a couple years ago, or 1918, 17, we decided to, to do the drag week thing. I had quit racing in 2012, pro stock. Yeah. And uh, so we took this car and took all the body panels off and put a full blown chassis underneath it. And, oh, nice. and, and uh, we've been, we did the first year, the first year we blew the motor up on a wheel dyno, which Kazi fixed free of charge. Okay. And nice. he said it wasn't his fault. Yeah. Good, and, good uh, on him, though. To do but that. he did fix it. Yeah. And uh, the second year, we were in Virginia in 2019, and my, my rider here, my, the guy that built the car, did all this work, um, had a heat stroke at Cecil County Dragway and held away in an ambulance, and I had to forfeit the weekend. And since 2000. 18 the car sat yeah so or 19 so and then uh, we've been working on it last for well we started heavy on it this winter and changed a bunch of stuff we knew that was wrong and uh, we knew it we knew it had potential you know, the best we got out of it was a 750 or something very good so steve tell us a little bit about you know what all you got in the kazi engine here um, you know, tell us some of the components there. It's a, a 565 with twin 88 precision turbos on it. Um, basically, I just told him what I was going to do, and he got real hesitant. He was, I don't know, you know. I said, you build a thousand, he built a thousand cubic inch motor in it, put it in a brand new Ford car, and drove, drove it 50,000 miles on the street. It had torque like you couldn't believe. So I said, you can do that. You did that with that Mustang, you know. He goes, yeah. So he did a lot of research and he called a lot of other engine builders too to, you know, to, to, to get it right. And so far, knock on wood, it's it's really, really yeah, good. It's been know. going good. Nice. So, Steve, do you know any specifics as to like what components are in the rotating assembly? Or Not really. I mean, I, I, for, I did know, but you know, you, I'm getting old and, you know, it, it's all the top notch stuff, you know. Yeah, sure, I, sure. Yeah. I mean, Kazi does it right for sure. All right, so you mentioned the twin precision turbos. Um, what size turbos are they? 88s. Okay. And about how much boost are you running uh, when you're going down the track? I don't want to tell these guys, but we're only running 25 pounds of boost. Okay. So we're, we got a lot more in it. We're yeah. just, we, this goal was just to get through this year, to get through the whole race sure. and not, we might, you might see something at the last, if we make it to the end, yeah. but, you know, we might crank her up. And, so. so Steve, what are you know? What class are you running in, and then what are the expectations out on the track? Uh, running Ultimate Iron, and yesterday we ran a 684, and we ran a 690 here, and I, the con conditions were a lot better yesterday, so I think that 690 was pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome. 
uh, so that's kind of the goal on staying in the sixes and uh, just stay right where I'm at right now. Yeah. I, I if you know one if one of the other these faster guys screw up one time, yeah. you know, consistency always wins. Absolutely. You know? And is there a number that you know you're trying to hit? I'd like to see six fifties. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I think it's got it in it. So. Yeah, awesome. If not, we will next year. And. Steve, how does this thing do? You know, obviously it's running well on the track. How does it do on the drives? Is that it's good. going all right? It's really good. Uh, it idles a little fast right now, and if you turn that down, it then it screws up the the, the idle on the tr on, on the track, so you just fight that. But uh, but uh, I had a guy that, that really helped us with the program and everything, and uh, I I think it was getting eight nine miles a gallon, which I don't think is too bad. <laughs> you know. Steve, are you running a dry sump setup here on this? Yeah. Yep. And he put an extra big tank in there. Yeah. Just uh, we're running like uh, we run 12 quarts of oil in it. You know. So he's a big believer in that high high oil pressure. We run 90 pounds. Yeah. Steve, anything else that we're leaving out about anything else in the car you want to mention, or just anything else in the Kazi engine? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if you guys that Mark Mickey from NMM Transmissions built a hell of a transmission. So I mean, I'll give him a little, yeah. little pump. You know, yeah. uh, very happy with that. Yeah, it's nice not having transmission problems, right? There's <laughs> enough other problems that you can have. <laughs> right. And then uh, uh, Wayne Henderson from Indy Gear, right here in Indy, he's built all my rear ends over the years. And uh, knock on wood, you know, this this original end rear end rear engine in it, rear end in it, and we, uh, I, I made them look at it and uh, check the oil and everything and, and it looks like it's brand new and, you know and it's got it's got quite a few miles on it and yeah. track time so a lot of shakes too tire shakes that's yeah. what kills them yeah. so so I like that uh, other than that I mean Bill Specialty's friend of mine he gave me the wheels okay. you know uh, yeah, I've gotten to see that shop. They got a pretty cool operation down there. Yeah, Glenn's a cool guy. Did you yeah. meet Glenn? Did you get to meet him? You know, I don't think it was Glenn. It was uh, someone else who walked yeah. us around, but it was very cool to see through there. Yeah, he's yeah. cool. Really nice guy. Known him forever. So awesome. So, Steve, do you happen to know, you know, with the twin turbos, you know, how much horsepower does the, the 565 make? Well, we had it on the wheel dyno at 20 horsepower, or at 20 pounds of boost, or 22, it was making like 2,200. So I, we, they, they estimate about 26 right now. So at, at 25 pounds, so I don't, I don't. Yeah. And I think car weighs, we're a little bit heavy. We're 3,250 and we have, we can weigh 3,000 with the driver. So you take it, if I could take 250 pounds out of this, you know, that, that's, yeah. that's two and a half tenths right there. Well, actually that's getting me almost down to 650, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. And you mentioned, you know, getting to Friday, uh, you know, if everything's still going well, you might turn the boost up. You know, right now you're around 25. What what might you go to? Oh, we might go to 35. Okay. Yeah, cool. we might make two, try it at five pounds at a time. You know. Or... Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, so. awesome. Well, Steve, gorgeous car, awesome Kazi engine, and we appreciate you telling us a little bit about it. So, right. thank you so much. I, I wish you the best of luck going forward this week. All right. All right. Thank you. Guys, that's been this episode of Engine of the Week. As always, make sure you're checking out enginebuildermag.com for more great engine content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video. Hey, while I've got you guys here, I wanted to tell you about Find a Builder. It's a new microsite on enginebuildermag.com that's great for both engine shops and for potential customers looking to get engine work done. If you're an engine builder, this site is a place where you guys can list your shop and what you guys do to potential customers through enginebuildermag.com. It's an easy subscription-based microsite that'll let you guys connect to a new audience. And if you're a potential customer looking to get engine work done, this is a source to help you guys find a shop that's in your area or one that specializes in the type of engine work that you're trying to get done. Make sure you guys are checking out Find a Builder on enginebuildermag.com. Thanks.